Yeah. Siggy time. Didn't quite catch that over on. I think it was Butch. Or it Butch. Hey, yeah, I'm doing it now. What I'm doing is, um, you know, I've done this one, my new FTX. Um, this is me, Beetle, what I did. That's the Beetle, what I did. I'm going to do the uh, abysma put that over there the abysma amt 2.4 i'm going to do this so i just took all these stupid stickers off i don't know why they put these on you know stock and the mean the mean nothing i mean i had a big stick on the back Rule the racetrack. What the hell? So I took all them off. Send it out body down. And I'm going to go mask up now. The windows. And up back here. Because this is quite big. Up back here. I'm going to get some lollipop sticks. Varnish them. And make them look old. And stick them on. But that's another day. At the minute, I was going to rust it all. Uh, this is the chassis from it. So you can see it's got eight 
Oh, who shocks? All independent of each other. Brushless. Um, yeah. Mighty, mighty cool. Really cool, really cool stuff. So she'll look awesome when she's um, right, right, right. Uh, I'm just going to, like I said, I've done the beat all, done the FTX, and I'm just going to do this one so that three on one go. Kimmy, are hey, you right, buddy? I think I'll be uh, interrupting your stream, but a lot of people will be coming on here, I don't think. You know, so I just thought I'll go live. I just thought I'll go live, Kimmy, um, while I'm doing this, paying this up and take you along. Yeah. So what I've done is took all the stickers off, rubbed it all down. And... Uh, So I need to buy some Mollipop six back of it. It's just too shiny. Just too shiny. Uh, get some Mollipop sticks, beat them up, and stick them on top. You know, so like an old sort of like um, trunk. I don't know what you Americans call call these. We just call them like trucks. But she's uh, she's pretty big. She's one twelve, one ten. She's near on one eighth. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, Kimmy? Uh, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna paint it like this, Kimmy. And this is my bookster. So she's going to be something like this in between the colours. So right down there. Yeah. So um, I just took all the stickers off, um, and obviously. Put them on some, the need, what I need, the lights and everything, pull them off and have to re-glue them. So for the rust, I use this. It's a red oxide primer. And then put it simply with a fine, fine coat, use the matte black. And then when it's all done, it comes out like this. So it should go look awesome. Right, and what do you guys think? Because like there's no bumps or whatever, do you think I should cut out some bumps or heat some misfigured panels up? That's quite easy to do. I'll just leave it as it is and paint it. Because I want it to look like it's been proper bashed and left in wood for 50 years. Just about that colour. It runs off 3S uh, much, but it goes up to. Uh, what's it go up to? It goes up to 6S. A rip rod, is that what you call them, Kimmy? Yeah, that's right, Butch. You're correct there. So you can actually leave it then. And then just paint it rat rod. Or like Kimmy said, uh, rip rod. And then I'm going to do this, so. I'm going to wood all this out. You know, get some, like I say, lollipop sticks, because that, I think that'll be pretty cool. All this in here being wooden. I think that'll look uh, really smart. Mm. 
but that'll be another day. Yeah, it's a lot of work, Kimmy, though, to it. I mean, what time is it now? It's half past two, and I've been at it since 12, taking stickers off and sanding it down. So there's a lot of work to it, not that easy. But I'll get there. Make it like a tube frame. What do you mean, Butch? A tube frame? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Um, do like the back with a cage. Like a... Um, you know, you see them in America. Because we don't have these in, in England. It's a shame, really, because I love trucks. I just love trucks. Uh, we don't have these in England. We just have, like, you know, little small bands. And, you know, I just love trucks. Roll bars. Yeah. I will do uh, much. So, yeah, roll bars. I don't know what to make him out of. Roll bars and a set of uh, lights on top. I want to make it like a Mad Max look, like the other two. I mean, um, I've got the exhaust system. Well, be a sec, I just get it. So this is the exhaust system I'm putting on. So that's the exhaust system. So every time you accelerate, every time you go forward and put your power off, smoke comes out. So it looks like exhaust system, the exhaust fumes. So I'll be putting them on back, two on each side with some silver, Exhaust tips. Look pretty cool with exhaust fumes coming out of the back. It will kill me. What do you reckon? Do you think it'll look pretty cool? The exhaust smoke coming out of the back. So I'm going to do what Butch says. I'm going to put a cage on. But that'll be another time today. Preparing it all and painting it. Obviously, I've got to let it cure for a week before I do anything else to it. Go and make a cage. Go and make all this wooden. Inside the um, inside here, what do you call that flatbed? Whatever, go put some lights on and um, do the exhaust system. Go show you the chassis, give me so that's the chassis, and there's plenty of parts here. 
to put extra things on. So that's like the chassis. Yeah, take a six S two separate two faces on each side at truck. I've only I've had it running on a four S and man it were fast. Sure fast. But I'll take two six S's because it's a hundred and forty amp uh ESC. Um it's, it, it's between an one eighth and a one tenth, Kimmy. It's not quite a one tenth, it's bigger than a one tenth, but it's just a bit smaller than a one eighth. So. Oh, it will compare um, much. Yeah, four-wheel drive. It's four-wheel drive and it's got eight, eight shockers, all full shockers. And um, you can lock your diff on it. So um, it's a really good machine. I've had about 45, 50 mile an hour out of it on 4S. Abysma. So what I'm going to do next, I've got my masking tape. Now it's all dried, I'm going to mask all the windows up. And when it's all done, I'm sure I've got a name yet, uh, but I'm going to, uh, it's going to be a male and I'm going to call it Butch. So when it's all finished, Butch, this I'm going to name after you. I'm going to call it Butch. I shall do a video on it when it's done. Tough name for a tough truck. This is the first male truck I've got. All my other ones are female. But this is going to be um, a bit special, so I'll call it Butch because I love my Butch. And I love Kimmy too. The next truck I do, Kimmy, I'll name it after you. Have you just got up, Kimmy? Oh, have you been up some time? Yeah, the Third Ball Express, that'd be a good one. What do you think, Kimmy? Yeah, shall I call it that, Kimmy? My next truck I do, I'll call it the Third Ball Express. Awesome, Butch, what a name. That's so cool. <laughs> the uh, the next truck is going to be massive. Um, 
the sponsor who sponsors these who gives me these to do reviews. I mean, I've had this about six months now. Um, he, I just got an email this morning. I can't tell you what it is, but um, it's going to be an awesome truck. Oh, really? That was gorgeous there. Absolutely gorgeous. As I swing you around, I don't think you can see. I can't see not there, but the weather is absolutely stunning here. It's so hot. What's, what was wrong with um, rock sticking me? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous there, Kimmy. Really, Butch? I mean, we, we're in, uh, obviously, you know, I live in England, and we're having some corking weather for uh, October, November time. It's like being in the Caribbean over here. Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, it's not far off winter now, so... You know, we're going, I think we're having a Indian winter where it's going to be like this through winter. Are you kidding? Has it been snowing over there yet? I know Dougie and um, Kelly have been having snow. I like I like cold. I like so I can take the heat out. You know, I'm giving my good fashioning snow. Honestly, Kimmy, you saw honestly, it was snowing. Oh my god. When it snows over there where you where you are, I mean it's it's crazy, isn't it? If you're getting snowflakes now, Kimmy, you go have a bad winter. Oh man, Kimmy. We'll have to sort your truck out so much see if we can get a sponsor to um, sort you out with some I don't know. I mean you need a good truck for you. You know, but no bashing. But the only thing is that um our yeah it is Kimmy my trouble is as you know our customs is shite absolute rubbish I still haven't got the flag they're still saying that uh, there's been drugs in it so they won't release it how stupid is that honestly it's a flag Makes me so mad, the UK customs. I 
right now. Let's get some of this on. I mean, he sent, he sent the plug out. Well, um, wow. Nine weeks ago. Yeah, I've been. I, I had a couple of uh, bad days last week. Um, you know, with bipolar and stuff. Um, it makes me angry sometimes because I don't want to know. You know, so it just makes me mad when I go into a depression really quickly. I don't always play effects because I want like some rust. This rust gets everywhere, doesn't it? Perfect. So that's one. As I said, I don't want it perfect. I do want some overrun on Windows uh, because rust, as you know, gets everywhere. So a bit of rust about Windows. These graphics are painted donkey me. And green graphics are painted on, and I don't like them. It's going to be proper rat rod, look, uh, you know, look. So uh, just take the windows off. Chopper, hello. How are you, bro? Me, Kimmy, and Butch have been having a right good chat. Um, when this is finished, I've named him Butch. Yeah, um, chopper, hold on. Put it to one side. This is me, Beetle, what I did. That's me, Beetle. Well, that's what I did. This is me FTX, what I did over the weekend. Well, right, what I did. If you see there, I put it like oil spills on it, so it's like oil coming from it. So that's me FTX, what I did. Yeah, you can see that from like oil 
but in your heart and body. So that's the FTX what I did. And now let's touch when it's done. Awesome chopper. Yeah, what I'm going to do on this, because it's just too plasticky. I'm going to build like a light bar, um, what do you call it, Butch? A roll cage. And then um, I'm going to get some lollipop sticks, rub them all up, and um, varnish them and go stick them on. So I'll have a wooden uh, bed on the back. So uh, look pretty cool. So I've just got to take mask off all this. And like right, so I've took lights off. Stuck them there. So but all these other stickers are just rubbish. Like I said, these cut out, so I don't want perfects. So that's the thing about people doing these, you know, that one, they make it perfect, but you don't. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Awesome, Chopper. So. Hi, Adair. So if you see there, it's not perfect. There's a bit of a black window popping through. I want rust to go over it when I paint it. I don't want it perfect. Because obviously, you know, rust falls off and it goes everywhere. So that's how I want it. Yeah, it's not like Mad Max style body. Like, uh, I need a Bismar and uh, the FTX. Yeah, Kimmy, people do the make a map rod and look stupid because they've done it perfect. And you don't do it perfect. You leave the imperfections in and you get smashes and scratches and god knows what else and you make more that's what a rat rod looks like yeah it's just more work in me for me to mask them up it's all part of fun you'll see it probably tonight it'll be all done Like I said, Kimmy, the next one's going to be called Furball Express. 
This one's called Butch. Yeah, I agree, Kimmy, totally. Yeah, Chopper, what I use is to get the rust effect, I use this. And it's a red oxide primer. So I spray that on first. Then I use the standard matte black to get the look. And then I lacquer it. Yeah, I might do that on a later day, Chop. I might uh, take these windows out for a later day. For now, I just want the body painting. And that method there, with these three, seems to work pretty good. The one done. Okay, buddy. Catch you. Show like me. What does this um, book, if you still there, or anybody? Does this look like an F three fifty? What do you call them? F two fifties Ford. Uh, a Chevrolet. What body type is this? Do you reckon? It looks like more of a Ford. I don't know. Chevrolet. Um, my favourite one is the Ram Dodge or Dodge Ram. Um, I also love one of them. Raptor body, John. Awesome. Oh, oh, makes Raptor. Is it Ford? I'm being dumb here because I'm from England. <laughs> Ford. Yeah. So, I like the. Uh, the Dodge Ram, I think that's my favourite. Ford Raptor is sweet. So these look like a Raptor then? It might be the might took it off by a Raptor, I don't know. Do you know what? Honestly, Butch, I wish I could get one of these in England, you know, a proper one to drive. Oh, we get these little vans and crappy little vans from France and Germany. We don't get nothing like this. Oh man, Butch. Are you getting one chopper? 
next are you going by one do you think god if i had a rap if i had this in england oh man we do we still get them because our roads are so well you see some videos when we're driving uh, around english roads they're so tiny Yeah, that's so cool, Chuck. <laughs> yeah, I've got racing clothes. I've got all sorts of uh, passes. I've got racing quads, photographic quads, I've got um, bebops, um, I've got trucks, I've got speedboats, I've got tanks, I've got everything. If you go back on my channel, you'll see them all. If I pay, let's go back on my channel, Dana. I'll make something over in the house. If you just go back on my channel, you'll see racing quads and uh, everything. So that's those two done. Our boat and our and our boat. He's so sorry for you, but really am. But so sorry for you. I mean. We, uh, me and you go back a long way, don't we? You know, even though I've never met you, we've always got on really well. It is, Butch, it is. Brother. We go back a long way, Butch, me and you, kid. Yeah, we have, aren't we? Which soldier on and stuff like this and the RCs and you guys and everybody else, you know, we get through it, don't we? We move on. Front window. We're going to do it in two stages.
few guys talk among yourselves for a second while well, I cut this out. Voilà. Oh, the one second. Next door neighbor, neighbor wanted a, a sink plunger. <laughs> I haven't got one. It's Kimmy back. Hey, Kimmy back. Oh. So, Kimmy, since you've been gone, I put the front tape on and the sides. So I've got the back to do and the front grill. I will be Kimmy. I think you I think I know that I ain't got a lot of viewers on here, but I've got the best people in in here. <laughs> Butch, are you sure you're not half gay? I yeah, know, Kimmy, you're so awesome. I'm gonna get some orange juice. Talk between yourself, lads. I'll just get some orange juice. Oh. Cheers. Oh, I needed that. No chop, just just listening, mate. Don't worry about me. Sick time, Kimmy. 
Thank you. Take a break. Um, just orange juice, butch. I don't drink alcohol. I'm teetotal. We do. You spot on, Kimmy. Absolute spot on. We need to get Butch FPV. Yeah. Oh, you still got the double butch. Oh, a fat chance butch. Yeah, Chop, why don't you do that? It's a good risk on now. Oh, are there? Because obviously I wear glasses. I'm short, so, so things close to me I can't see. Long distance, I'm like, I'm like an eagle. Um, so those, those glasses. Perfect. So I've got some goggles, um, but I can't wear them because I don't fit the glasses. Oh, we do, Kimmy. We so do. I'm a full of butch. What what's eighty dollars in pounds, Butch? Kimmy, what's eighty dollars in pounds? Woohoo! Chop. You're nearly a full day ahead of me. Chops in the future, he knows stuff what me, Kimmy and Butch don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Chops. Yeah. Is that 100 bucks, Kimmy, do you think? 80 bucks, eh? 100 pounds. I don't know how much 80 bucks is. 80 dollars in English. In pounds, um, I don't know. God, it's warm. That sun's so bright. Can you can you guys see me okay? Yeah, Kimmy, I reckon that. Yeah.
Is it sixty-two pound? Really? Wow, butch! I've got to get some then. Do they fit over classes? Okay, because are your classes like mine? Because my dog was what I've got now. I just can't see. Um, is it short sighted? I'm short sighted. Long distance, I'm perfect. I can say I'm an eagle, but short sighted, I'm blind as a bat. So these glasses are fit over and do like a much. Sixty-two pounds for goggles. That's so crazy, man. Is that what it is, Kimmy? It's about eight dollars and thirty dollars for camera. Oh man, that's some. I mean, we did it, Kimmy. We finished it, that look. Oh, wow. No, I am. And I like, I like FTX. If you can find it, uh, Butch, leave a link in the chat box and I'll have a little bit later. FTX, he said. But they need to put over the glasses, Butch. Awesome, Kimmy. Mask up that window. Oh, can you? I I'm on tablet, butch. I don't have to do it. When I go back in, when I watch it all, I'm with young Kimmy, Chop, and um, our moderators. I'll be talking to you anyway, butch. Uh, maybe tonight, what well, I see tonight anyway, around. Ah, bro. What we're doing is we're uh, taking this body and making it that room. And you guys talk between yourselves while I do this back window.
พราะว่าพระวินทุตุมพระสุนทรีสเด็กรุ่งเรืองเป็นที่สุดมาสตุกคิมีแบบปีออสมัยเดียวันเดียวกันเดียวกันเขาจะยินดีแบบนี้ด้วยคิมีโค้ชบุ๊คีบราขอบคุณมากมากคิมมี่ทักษะสุดแม่จริงเฮ้ยโอ้ชื่อเจมส์ thank you โอ้สุด thank you bro ก็ say it's all mixed up that's a good one Windows. All done. I do now. It's great. The orange juice is so refreshing. That sun's so bright. Can you guys see me okay? Wow. Awesome. So right then, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to leave you all chatting for two minutes. I'm going to take this body out. Yeah, Chop, thanks for popping in. Really appreciate it, bro. Go get some kip. Give me a book. Can you keep it going for us for two minutes? Yeah, I can't because it's Linda Cook, though. Do good. I'm wrap rubbing me uh, my truck. So keep it butch, everybody. Just keep talking for two minutes. Well, I'll give this a uh, undercoat.
Ya. Paxson. Right, I'm going to take you guys out with us and see what I'm doing. Right over there. Can you guys see? That'd be enough of this coat, I think. Let it dry off. I'm just using this, halts. I know it's reading backwards. It's an um, oxide primer. So I've been hanging out. I've been hanging out here. For a bit spraying this bring it closer <coughs> it's just that's better so that's first coat so I'll probably stay out here for a bit and we can watch progress and I'll... Oh no! Let's put a brick on that. There we go. Getting rest of stuff. Just get the other bits I need.
So what I'm using here is salt to rust it. Bit of salt on your brush. Tap on when you want it rusting. You don't need an, a lot of salt on. May not be enough salt, just let it drain for a second. Yeah, just makes the, uh, the look a bit more authentic. Put a bit of rust in the back of there. Rock lines. It just creates like a, a rust spot. So I've got some on the bed. Pretty cool. So that's how you do, you do your rusting. Just let it settle for a couple of minutes. Just get my lighter for my cigarettes. Some up front bumper, I think, because you always get rust spots on front bumper.
<laughs> it's um, four o'clock. It's afternoon. Now you can see it's reacting. So we'll leave that to dry a bit, let the salt react with the paint. Um, well, that's time. Uh, um, last time I filmed a Bebop was the F1 car. Did you see the F1 car video much? Yeah, that's time. That's the last time I think I'd be pop out. I, will, I just love that bird. No, I don't. Um, I, it's a long time ago since I flew the bugs. Yep, yep, you're right there, Jay. Oh, Jack. Oh, it's fine, but honestly, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just rusting this up. Just put salt on. Give it a coat. Second coat. I don't like it too salty. It's back to react now, on body. Yeah, Jim, um, when the paint is fine, it's not too wet because it's just soaking and get rid of the salt. Um, just as it's just going off, apply your salt. See now. See the the rusting. It's starting to rust on arches.
It's the pain that reacts with the salt. And then you just give that. You don't want to do too much because obviously it's a pretty new cat, pretty new truck. So you just put a bit of salt on with a brush like that size. There's your salt. And um, just put it on just where it's just going off and they all start reacting with the paint. Awesome, pretty cool. Yeah, that rust is coming really nice. Thanks, Jar. Yeah, it's starting to oxidize now, so. It's getting that rusty look. Yeah, catch you later, Louie. No, Kimmy, I am. I haven't used a brush. Oh, that roast looks awesome. Yeah, okay, yeah, thanks for so much for coming in. Just pop in any time you want, bro. Love you. I want to say thanks for popping in. You'll probably see it finished because I put it on channel anyway, my channel. Well, you see it on this because it'll be on my channel while it came in. Oh, 
Mạnh này What you do next? What you do next is um, that primer. It's not totally dry yet, so don't leave it totally keep it totally dry. You need it sort of like damp sort of or just going up. And you've got to stay away, stay from distance. So your first coat's got to be really light. I do for that first coat. You see, coming along now with this, awesome. The thing is, when people rush the vehicle, that they overdo it, and you know, like the salt, it's one of my techniques. What I love, and I don't overdo it because you don't see cars unless they've been abandoned for like fifty years, full of rust. You know, as in like falling apart. You just do the rust bits where the rust bits happen, like on your doors, around the sills, bumpers. You know, your metal bumpers. Stuff like that. Thanks, Butchy Boy. Have you enjoyed it today, Butchy Boy, with us? Oh, thanks, bro. And then this is going to be the second uh, flicker coat.
on the front when it dries out i'll show you guys how, how you do it is when you're spraying i want it like a bit of oil look on the front when you're spraying you touch and off touch and off touch and off so it doesn't give a, a full spray it gives a spurt it looks like oil up front a wing i'll just show you So if you look on there, so you can pick it up. It's the uh, aisle. Just leave that to dry and then I put a fine coat on and then it should be all done. It doesn't take long really to spray it up. The beauty thing about um, doing a rat rod is that if you do a mistake, it doesn't matter. And this is a bit last cut. I think that's it. I think we're done on that. Don't overdo it. That's the policy. Don't overpaint it. Put some black on the earth. It's looking good, guys. I just get me orange juice, lads. Keep yourself entertained. Wow, I've got two visitors and the best people in the whole wide world. Oh. Yeah, I think Kim is sorry if I had a phone call. It's all right, Butch. No pubs. Are you all right? No problem, Butch. But this phone call, I'll care for you.
Right then, so I'm using lacquer. Just a lacquer it. Right. It's gone off, but it hasn't gone off totally. People lacquer it when it's totally dry, you don't. You lacquer, lacquer when it's just going off and it sits inside the paint, not on top. Okay, Butch. Leave it a dry. I know, but don't look after your mom. You'll see it on the video, and I'll name it, but obviously, you know, it's called Butch now. Love you, Butch. You stay safe, honestly. Love that guy so much. He's just awesome, Butch. And Kimmy. I love you too. So really now, I just need to leave it out here for about half an hour. Yeah, um, Kimi, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm coming on because uh, I'm leaving this out here for about an hour before I start doing other bits on it. So I'm going to join you on Roger's chat. Um, Kimi, thank you so much. I do love you. And I'll catch you on Roger's chat. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you on the road just chatting them all. So thanks guys, Butch, everybody who's popped in and out. Thank you so much for watching the stream and watching the progress of this uh, truck body to get it all rusted up. And um, I'll catch you all later. Ciao for now.